What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be how I curl my hair. So I get a lot of questions on Instagram on how I curl it, what kind of tools I use, what kind of products I use for afterwards, and this is pretty much what I do. This is super easy to do and in the beginning it might take you a little bit of time to get it, but it literally takes me 10 minutes and I have a lot of hair. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and also follow me on my Instagram, which I will leave somewhere here for you guys. And let's get right on to the video. Oh my god, oh my <laughs> that was his head. Oh, why are you so close? Today I'm gonna be using the T3 Micro. This is the one that comes with like the adjustable heads. And it does have a bigger one, but I've been liking this one because my hair falls pretty quickly. If I use the bigger barrel, literally in two, three hours, my hair's flat. But that's just the way that my hair is with all of the curling irons. So I'm gonna be using this one. And because I'm working out all the time, my hair usually doesn't last very long. It's like literally 24 hours. But I've been using so much dry shampoo that it's embarrassing, but it works. The one that I use is the Batiste dry shampoo with a hint of divine dark. I used to use the blonde one, but because my hair is getting pretty dark, um, it would leave like a white cast on. So I like to go in to give it a little bit of grit first in my root before I curl anything. So my trick to make my hair look long is to barely curl the bottom sections that you can't really see and I focus more on the top. So I pretty much part the bottom section of my head and then I'll grab like one inch sec sections, <laughs> sections like this. So here you'll be able to see like how little I actually curl from these sections. Like I leave about half of my hair out of the barrel. Um, just so that it adds more length. So I like to curl it starting like halfway. And then I hold my curl till it cools a little bit. Uh, and that way it gets a little curlier. But as you can see, the curl starts here and you can't really see this part because it's all covered by hair. So it's gonna give you length. And I know right now it looks super, super curly, but my hair gets really straight. So I like to over curl and then it'll be perfect like in a few hours. And also a little tip, if you want it to be more of like a bend in the hair, you can slide the barrel. You see this hand doesn't move, you just hold the hair. You can slide the barrel up and down and it'll kind of make like a bend, like a soft bend in the hair. And then we're going to go to the middle section. So I only split my hair into three sections um, and the one that I focus on the most is obviously the top section. So these get covered up most of the time, so you don't have to worry too much about them. So for this section of hair, we're going to be bringing the curl a little bit higher, but holding it for less time and kind of running it through the barrel. So again, like I don't like it to be a super strong curl, and I feel that sliding the barrel up and down really helps to like prevent getting strong, like kind of prom curls. And then another trick here is to do one in and one out. So now you can start playing with the hair and I curl this one in towards my face instead of away from my face. And that way the hair is not gonna bend all in like the same wave and kind of mesh together. It's gonna be super PC. Whenever I get to the front of my face, I make sure that these are always going outward. And then this one I bring, I bring really close to the root just because it's gonna be what's framing my face but I barely hold it on here. And now for the most important section, again, we're just doing the same exact thing. And then here I'd like to take thinner strands and we're gonna make it super piecey here. We're gonna be curling inward and just sliding it through. This one goes outwards. And then these front sections, again, are always gonna be curled away from the face, just because I wanted to frame my face. So I barely hold it. And then for the, for the front piece, I kind of pull this down and then slide it through. And that adds that bend here. 
But you can see from curling one in and one out, it stops the curls from all going in the same direction and that will just add like a lot, a lot of texture. All right, so now that we're done, um, we're gonna go ahead and spray some more. Go really crazy with the dry shampoo, as you guys can tell. And now I just got the Gizu Honey Infused Hair Oil. Honestly, I haven't been using this for long enough to tell you guys if I like it or not, but all I know is it doesn't make my hair uh, greasy. So I take a little bit in my palms and then just run it through the ends of my hair. Honestly, I've used a lot of hair oils that are much, much affordable. Um, that work just as good. So I will link them below the other hair oils that I love This is just the one that I'm trying out now and when I try new products I like to just use that product to see like how good it really is um, But you guys know I've raved about the other Marrakesh argan oil, which smells amazing I actually like the smell of the other one better. This one doesn't have that much of a smell No, not really um, the way hair oil. I do feel like makes my hair a little bit oily but it smells incredible. But yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so that is it for the hair. I feel like the biggest trick for this is to not only keep the wand moving throughout the hair, and that way it creates like a loose bend and wave, but also doing one inwards and one outward. So if you were to do all of them going backwards, it's just gonna all mesh into like one big wave. But if you want it to look beachy and PC, Take thinner strands and then do one going out, one going in. And then just remember that the ones that frame the face, so like from here to the front, they're always going to go backwards. So that way they like frame the face nicely. So that is pretty much it. Definitely would recommend the T3 Micro. This is the one that comes with the different adjustable heads. I use the blow dryer also and I am obsessed. I feel like it's less damaging to my hair. This isn't sponsored or anything at all. I wish I could give you guys a code, but I don't have one right now. So if I do get one, it'll be in the description box along with the link for you guys to purchase it. But it is a little bit expensive. I definitely think that it's worth it. Uh, I reach for it all the time and I have all kinds of hair tools. Um, and this is just my favorite one. I will also link all my other favorite hair oils and dry shampoos and texturizing sprays down below because I feel like they honestly make the biggest difference. And hair oils, you guys have heard me rave about oil treatments for your hair because it truly is amazing, especially if you have colored uh, or treated hair. It is a game changer. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments what kind of videos you guys want to see next. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and also follow me on my Instagram, which I will leave right here for you guys. And until next time, I will see you guys later.